Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, we're discussing the Strategy Analyzer, which is the backtesting platform within NinjaTrader. I'm going to show you both how to open this window and how to understand the results within it and how to run your own backtest. So if you're looking at NinjaTrader, opening the Strategy Analyzer is very straightforward. You left-click on File, New, and then Strategy Analyzer. Once you've left-clicked, this is the window that comes up and you'll notice that it's divided into three panes. Here on the left you have the instruments, here in the center you have the results, and over here on the far right is a hidden window. In order to choose the settings that you want, you need to put the mouse over this back test window. And if that disappearing function gets very annoying for you, then you can put the mouse over the back test and click this pin bar. That way you don't have to worry about constantly having that window fly in and out. If you have a computer with low memory or it's very taxed on the memory, this will also help the back, the back tester run a little more smoothly. So to get started, what you do is you need to select the instrument that you want to test. I like Forex, so I left click on the Euro US dollar. Now in order for this back test to work, you're going to have to have loaded historical data. That could be by connecting to the free end of day kinetic connection, it could be by having a connection to your broker, but if you don't have the historical data available, none of this is going to work and it's a separate topic. So I'm making the assumption that you've got that already working. Then from the left, you go to the far right, and this is where you choose the settings that you want to look at. And this is one of the free strategies that we give away on the website. This one is called RSI Trend. So let's say that I wanted to look at uh, using the RSI trend over the course of the year. These settings are unique to the strategy. I'm going to set the units to 100,000, which is a standard lot. And now I have to choose the data series. That's not intuitive at all, but really what it's asking is what chart do you want to trade on? So I have selected to, to trade on a, on a minute chart and to do it in 60 minute intervals. Basically, I'm trading hourly charts and then I can select my date range here. So I'm going to start from the beginning of the year until the end of the year and the only thing that is different about this strategy or about NinjaTrader is that exit on close function. So if you want it to hold positions and to not close them at the end of the day then you need to set this to false. NinjaTrader sets everything to true and it's not something that you're asking for and it can get very frustrating if you're wondering why does my trade close every day at exactly on the market close. Well, this is why. So I set it to false and then now I'm ready to run the back test. So I'm going to go ahead and run the numbers and voila I get my results. And here in the center screen there are major tabs. The only ones that I really look at are these three. So the summary here you can see okay great made a profit and then the chart where I can look at my actual individual trades. I can see where I entered, where I exited and why and then the graph tells me all sorts of nice statistics so I can see the percent return I can see my profit entry efficiency exit efficiency all of this stuff is interesting information that you can use to evaluate your strategy if you have any questions on the strategy analyzer or ninja trader in general you can reach me at www.onestepremove.com my name is Sean Overton thank you for listening